Hey YouTube. So I introduce you to my home solar system. We're going to make some changes today. But, uh, we got four panels up here on top of the motorcycle garage. There she is right there. We'll get you a closer look here in a minute. And then I'll show you what we have on the other side. Alright, so here's the other side. You got a Harbor Freight, 100 watt, four panels. As you can see, I ran some conduit, put it up, attached it to the other 400, uh, 100 watt panels. And today, sorry for the noise from the air conditioner, but today, I'm going to take you over and show you what we're going to do today. Ain't she pretty? Yeah, that'll be another video another time. So, what we got over here, there's your Harbor Freight 2000 watt inverter. And then we got this automatic transfer switch, this ATS. I picked that up a little while ago. That's a pretty cool little device. We'll talk a little bit about that later. That's going to switch you from your house power over to your solar power. Then we have our charge controller. We got our solar shut off and our battery shut off. And then down here is the battery bank. There you got again Harbor Freight. Those are 12 35 amp hour 12 volt batteries. And you know can't get my finger shoved in between those so the configuration is all wrong earlier on I'm gonna put you down here earlier on this week what we did was we found that we found that the fuse down here those are 30 watt fuses we got those from Amazon and they work pretty good they've been there for a couple years but what happened was I came and looked at it and this was the other side now this is the fuse that goes from the solar panels to the charge controller that's not good so today we're going to swap out the fuse with a different type of uh, circuit breaker again got it off Amazon but instead of a 30 watt we're going to go 40 watt and at the same time we're going to change out this 10 gauge wire excuse me this yeah 10 gauge wire and we're gonna up it to 8 gauge wire just to make sure we have enough and make sure the voltage um, make sure we're safe alright so stay tuned right now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect everything and take everything off and then I'll bring you guys back and we'll set up the new configuration of how we're gonna head what we're gonna do it all right, see you in a couple minutes. All right, I'm back. So you can see, I pretty much took everything off except for the inverter. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take that inverter and we're going to move it and we're going to put it right next to the battery bank shut off. And then we're going to take the solar panel shut off and we're going to put that right above the battery being shut off so that they're in the same location um, and then the rest of it will go above it that way I'll be able to get to it easier to see I won't have to bend over and we'll have more space than we had before so that's the plan I'll be back in a couple minutes and I'll show you what it looks like Hey guys, so we ran into a little problem. So I bought these positive and negative bus bars. See? The problem is, I went down to your, my local Lowe's and I got these lugs because I'm changing my wires from a uh, 
6 gauge, no, I'm sorry, 10 gauge to an 8 gauge just to be on the safe side. And the hole's too small. So now I gotta drill these out. And that's what I'm gonna be doing here for the next couple minutes. This one here I already got done. But uh, I got several of these to do. Good thing is, it's a real simple process. It's actually a real simple process. If you do it right. Like that. And now we should be good to go. Yeah, that'll be a nice snug fit. So I'll be right back in a little bit. Alright gang, so I figured I'd stop here and give you guys an update. Had to move some stuff around. Still got to move that charge controller down. But uh, you can see that I put in the uh, positive and negative bus bars. And I got the inverter all locked in. So, we're almost there. Next update, I should have everything in place. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. It's all done. So we got our charge controller all set up. Our automatic switch is powering up. Again, that's pretty cool. So look, right now, it's feeding off the battery. It's 12.6 volts. When it drops down to 12.2 volts, it's going to kick over to house power. And it'll run that all night long. So then tomorrow, when we start getting more sun, and it goes back up to 13.5 volts, then it'll kick back over to solar power, and it'll run this garage all day long. Not only will it run my garage, but I got two computers over there that I use for servers for media and so forth and for gaming for my sons it'll run them too and that's about 300 400 watts but uh... it's more than enough to uh... To power it up so there you go took that 10 aught cable now we're running eight so that's good to about forty to uh... fifty amps and uh... That's it. So, thanks for coming down this journey with me. And uh, I think this will be much, much better. Especially with those uh, positive and negative bus bars, the short cables, and the uh, switch down there that I put in. 40 watt switch, circuit breaker. I think we're good. Alright, thank you so much. And we'll talk again soon. Stay safe, be healthy.